Hello, the topic is the result and then equilibrium. A resultant force can be defined as if two or more forces are acting on a body, then the resultant of these forces is nothing but a single force acting on a body producing the same effect on body as that number of forces producing it. Whereas equilibrium is of two or more forces acting on a body is a single force which when acting on a body with each other forces keeps the body in equilibrium, it is equal in magnitude of positive direction and collinear in action with resultant. When which are the learning objectives? After reading this chapter, you will be able to answer the following questions. How do you find the resultant of a concurrent force system? What is the Verignon's theorem? How can you find the resultant of a parallel and general force systems? Resultant of concurrent force system using method of resolution. If the number of forces are more than two, then its resultant can be found out conveniently by the method of res resolution. Step 1 is find Rx equal to sigma of Fx. Resolve all forces along the horizontal axis and take the algebraic sum of force components considering paper sign convention. Positive. Step 2. Find Ry equal to sigma of F1. Resolve all forces along the vertical y-axis and take algebraic sum of force components considering proper sign convention. Step 3. Find R result. Magnitude of resultant force is given by R equal to root of sigma fx square plus sigma fy square. The step 4 is find theta. Inclination of the line of action of resultant force with horizontal x-axis is given by tan theta equal to sigma fx by sigma fy and theta equal to tan inverse of sigma fy by sigma fx. Position of resultant. Resultant may lie in any four quadrant depending on the signs of sigma fx and sigma fy. If resultant is horizontal, then sigma fy equal to 0 and fx equal to minus r. If the resultant is vertical, then fx sigma fx equal to 0 and sigma fy equal to r. If the resultant is 0, then sigma fy equal to 0 and sigma fx equal to 0. For this hint can be given as for finding resultant of two concurrent forces which are, which can prefer parallelogram of law or triangle law. Which will be illustrated by a example, find the resultant of the force system solution Rx equal to sigma fx equal to 22.5 cos 45 minus cos 30 equal to 10.07 newton which is a negative sign indicates towards leftward leftward directions ry equal to sigma f1 equal to 15.91 newton positive sign indicates upward directions magnitude of resultant r equal to root of R square plus R y square equal to 18.83 Newton. Theta equal to tan inverse of R y upon R x equal to tan inverse of 15.91 by 10.07 equal to 57.67 degree upwards.